Hello, I'm Becky. Please join me in immersing ourselves in the English world. This is a compilation of the first 10 episodes of my stories. Perfect for training your English listening skills. Try to avoid using subtitles as much as possible. Enjoy the experience. My family. Hello, my name is Becky, and I want to tell you about my family. I am from a small town, and my family is very important to me. Let me introduce you to my family members. Firstly, there is my dad. His name is James. He is a kind and hardworking man. He works in an office and helps people with their computer problems. He always tells me that I can achieve anything I set my mind to. Next, there's my mom, Sarah. She is a wonderful cook and makes the best meals. She works in a hospital and takes care of sick people. I admire her for her caring nature. She also helps me with my homework when I find it difficult. I have a younger brother named Tommy. He is only seven years old, but he is full of energy. We play games together, and he always makes me laugh. Sometimes he annoys me, but I still love him a lot. In addition to my immediate family, I have a pet cat named Whiskers. Whiskers is a fluffy and playful cat. She keeps me company when I am doing my homework and purrs when I pet her. I feel happy and relaxed when she's around. Our house is cozy and filled with love in the evenings. We gather in the living room and talk about our day. We share our stories and laugh together. On weekends, we often go for a family outing, such as a picnic in the park or a trip to the beach. I am grateful for my family because they support and care for me. They encourage me to pursue my dreams and be a good person. I love spending time with them and cherish the moments we share. My family is my strength, and I feel lucky to have them in my life. Family trip. Going on a family trip is a fantastic way to spend quality time together and create lasting memories. Last summer, my family and I went on an unforgettable journey to the countryside. We started our adventure by packing our bags with essentials like clothes, snacks and our favorite games. The excitement in the air was palpable as we loaded the car and hit the road. The drive was long, but we entertained ourselves by playing car games and singing along to our favorite songs. Upon arriving at our destination, a charming little cottage surrounded by lush greenery, we were greeted by the sweet scent of flowers and the soothing sounds of nature. The cottage had a cozy living room, a well-equipped kitchen, and comfortable bedrooms, the perfect home away from home. During our family trip, we explored the local attractions. We visited a quaint village market, where we sampled delicious homemade treats and bought souvenirs to remember our trip. The highlight of our adventure was a hike through the scenic hills where we marveled at breathtaking views and took plenty of photos to capture the beauty of nature. In the evenings, we enjoyed family dinners at the cottage. We took turns cooking our favorite meals and shared stories about our day. It was heartwarming to see everyone pitching in and creating a sense of togetherness. One day, we decided to have a picnic by a sparkling river near the cottage. We spread a blanket on the grass unpacked our picnic basket, and enjoyed a simple yet delightful meal in the great outdoors. The children played by the water, skipping stones and laughing joyfully. As the sun set, we gathered around a bonfire, toasting marshmallows and sharing stories. The crackling of the fire, the warmth of family, and the twinkling stars overhead created a magical atmosphere. It was a moment of pure bliss that we will cherish forever. Our family trip taught us the value of spending time together. Away from the hustle and bustle of daily life, we discovered the joy of exploring new places, trying new things, and 
creating bonds that will last a lifetime. Whether it's a simple getaway to the countryside or an exotic adventure, family trips are a wonderful way to strengthen the ties that bind us and create cherished memories that will be treasured for years to come. Becky's Daily Teen Life Hello, I'm Becky, a 15-year-old girl. I want to share a little about my daily life every morning. I wake up early at 7 a.m. After that, I have a quick breakfast, usually cereal with milk. Then, I go to school by bus. At school, I study different subjects like math, science, and English. I really enjoy English class because I love learning new words and phrases during the break. I chat with my friends and sometimes we play games. After school, I go home and do my homework. My favorite subject is art, and I often spend extra time drawing and painting. It helps me relax and express my creativity. In the evening, I have dinner with my family. We talk about our day and share funny stories. After dinner, I like to watch TV or read a book before going to bed at around 10 p.m. On weekends, I like to hang out with my friends, go shopping, or watch movies. I also enjoy playing the guitar, which I've been learning for a few months. That's a little glimpse into my daily life. I'm a regular teenager trying to balance school, hobbies, and time with family and friends. Life is busy but fun. My Hobbies Hello, I'm Becky, a 15-year-old girl who enjoys various hobbies. One of my favorite pastimes is reading. I love getting lost in the magical worlds that books create. Whether it's a thrilling adventure or a heartwarming story, I find joy in the pages of a good book. Music is another passion of mine. I play the guitar and find great pleasure in strumming its strings. I enjoy learning new songs and creating my melodies. Playing the guitar allows me to express myself and relax. When it comes to staying active, I'm a fan of badminton. Playing badminton not only keeps me fit but also provides an exciting way to spend time with. Friends, the quick movements and strategic plays make it an enjoyable sport for me. Photography is a hobby that allows me to capture special moments. I love taking pictures of nature, my friends, and everyday life. It's incredible how a photograph can freeze a moment in time and evoke memories. In summary, my hobbies include reading, playing the guitar, engaging in badminton, and capturing moments through photography. Each activity brings its unique joy and fulfillment to my life. Thanksgiving Thanksgiving is a special day in my family. We gather together to express gratitude for all the good things in our lives. On this joyful occasion, my family starts the day by preparing a delicious feast. My mom cooks a mouth-watering turkey, and the whole house fills with its tempting aroma. I assist her in setting the table with colorful plates and shiny silverware. As we sit down to eat, we take turns sharing what we are thankful for. It's heartwarming to hear the different reasons my family members appreciate each other and the Blessings we have, laughter echoes around the table, creating a warm and welcoming atmosphere. After the feast, we enjoy various activities together. Sometimes, we play board games or watch a family movie. This quality time strengthens our bonds and creates lasting memories. My younger siblings and I often help with the cleanup, making it a team effort. As the day comes to an end, we gather for a final moment of reflection. We express our gratitude once more, acknowledging the love and togetherness that define our family. Thanksgiving is a reminder of the importance of family, love, and appreciation.
I am thankful for these moments that bring us closer and create a sense of belonging. I caught a cold. Hi, I'm Becky, a 15-year-old girl, and I recently caught a cold last week. I started feeling a bit off, my throat was sore, and my nose wouldn't stop running. As the days went by, things got worse. I began having headaches and felt so tired. Worried about my health, my parents took me to the doctor. After examining me, the doctor said I had a common cold. He suggested getting plenty of rest, drinking warm fluids, and taking some over-the-counter medicine. Even though I felt lousy, I followed the doctor's advice. I stayed home from school, drank lots of hot tea with honey, and took my medicine. My family took care of me, making sure I had everything I needed to get better. With each passing day, I started feeling a bit better. The sore throat and runny nose slowly went away, and my energy came back. I was so eager to get back to my normal routine and see my friends again. Going through this made me realize how important it is to take care of my health and not ignore the signs of being sick. I learned that rest and proper care are crucial for getting better quickly. Thanks to my family and the doctor's advice, I was soon back on my feet, ready to take on school and life with a fresh start. A delicious dinner with friends. Hello, I'm Becky, a 15-year-old girl, and I want to share a delightful experience when my friends and I went to a restaurant for dinner. Last weekend, we decided to try a new restaurant in town. Excitement filled the air as we entered and were greeted by the friendly staff. We found a cozy table and began browsing the menu. Choosing what to order was both fun and challenging. My friend recommended the pasta, and I decided to give it a try. The waiter took our orders, and we chatted while waiting for our food. When the dishes arrived, the aroma was irresistible. I couldn't wait to dig into my pasta. The first bite was heavenly, the flavors danced on my taste buds. We all shared bites of our meals, making the experience even more enjoyable. Between bites, we shared stories and laughed together. The restaurant ambience added to the joy of our evening. The atmosphere was vibrant, with soft music playing in the background. As we finished our meal, we felt satisfied and happy. Splitting the bill was quick and easy, and we left the restaurant with full stomachs and smiling faces. Going to the restaurant with friends was a fantastic experience. It wasn't just about the delicious food, it was the laughter, good company, and the joy of trying something new together. I look forward to more delightful dinners with friends in the future. This was a memorable evening, and I'm grateful for the time spent with friends, creating wonderful memories around a table filled with laughter and tasty dishes. My Journey to India Hello everyone, I'm Becky, a 15-year-old girl, and I'm excited to share my amazing journey in India. Traveling to this lively and culturally rich country was a dream come true for me, and I'm thrilled to tell you about some of the highlights of my trip. My Indian journey began in Delhi, the busy capital city, the bright colors, the spicy scents, and the lively atmosphere instantly caught my attention. Walking through the narrow streets of old Delhi, I admired the old buildings, such as the impressive red fort and the detailed designs of Jama Masjid. The hustle and bustle of the crowded markets, like Chandni Chowk, added a special charm to my experience. Next on my list was the famous Taj Mahal in Agra. Standing before this impressive wonder left me in awe. The sheer grandeur and beauty of the marble structure, especially during sunrise, made the visit truly unforgettable. I couldn't resist taking countless photos to capture the magic of the moment. From Agra, I traveled to Jaipur, known as the Pink City, the city's grand palaces, including the Hala Mahal and the City Palace took me back in time. Exploring the lively markets filled with traditional handicrafts allowed me to immerse myself in the local culture and bring home some unique souvenirs. My journey took a deep turn as I visited Varanasi, one of the oldest cities in the world. 
the sacred Ganges River, with its gods and rituals, offered a deep cultural experience. Watching the captivating Ganga Arti ceremony at sunset left me with a sense of peace and spirituality. In southern India, I explored the backwaters of Kerala, cruising on a traditional houseboat through the calm waters surrounded by lush greenery was a peaceful escape from the hustle of city life. The local cuisine, rich in flavors and spices, added a delightful aspect to my adventure. One of the most memorable parts of my trip was meeting the friendly locals. Their warm hospitality and genuine smiles made me feel welcome everywhere I went. Engaging in conversations, learning a few basic phrases in Hindi, and trying traditional dances made my interactions even more meaningful. Reflecting on my Indian journey, I can't help but feel grateful for the diverse experiences and the lifelong memories created. India's rich tapestry of culture, history, and spirituality left a lasting impression on me, and I returned home with a newfound appreciation for the world's diversity. Shopping with Mom Hi, my name is Becky and I'm a 15-year-old girl. Last weekend, I went to the department store with my mom to buy some clothes. It was an exciting experience for me. First, we entered the store and went straight to the clothing section. There were so many racks filled with colorful dresses, shirts, and jeans. I was overwhelmed by the choices. My mom and I started browsing through the clothes, looking for something stylish and comfortable. After a while, I found a cute blue dress that caught my eye. I tried it on, and it fit perfectly. My mom helped me decide on a matching pair of shoes. We also picked out a few accessories to complete the look. I was thrilled with my new outfit. Next, we headed to the checkout counter. The cashier was friendly and scanned our items. My mom paid for everything, and we received a receipt. The whole process was smooth and quick. With our shopping bags in hand, we decided to grab a snack at the mall's food court. We chatted about our favorite moments during the shopping trip and enjoyed some delicious food together. In the end, it was a wonderful day out with my mom. I not only got a stylish outfit but also had a great time bonding with her. I look forward to more shopping adventures in the future. My Everyday Style I am Becky, a 15-year-old girl who loves expressing herself through my daily outfits. My wardrobe is filled with a variety of clothes that reflect my personality and mood. Every morning, I carefully choose my attire to make sure I feel comfortable and confident throughout the day. On casual days, I prefer wearing a cozy t-shirt paired with jeans or comfortable leggings. I love to accessorize with a colorful scarf or my favorite hat. These simple additions help elevate my look and make it uniquely mine. My go-to sneakers are not just for comfort but also for the stylish touch they add to my outfit. For more formal occasions, I opt for a pretty dress or a nice blouse combined with a skirt. I enjoy experimenting with different patterns and colors to create a stylish and fashionable appearance. A cute pair of ballet flats or low heel shoes completes my ensemble, adding a touch of grace. Weather plays a significant role in my outfit choices on sunny days. I reach for my favorite sunglasses and a lightweight jacket during colder months. I love bundling up in a cozy sweater a stylish coat, and a trendy pair of boots to stay warm and fashionable. Accessories are an essential part of my style. I have a collection of statement necklaces, bracelets, and earrings that I mix and match to add a personal flair to my outfits. These small details make a big difference and showcase my unique taste in fashion. In conclusion, my everyday style is a blend of comfort confidence, and personal expression. Whether I'm keeping it casual or dressing up for a special occasion, I always aim to showcase my personality through my clothing choices. 
Please subscribe my channel, press like, and share this video with your friends. Thank you.